We will not be abandoned. We will reach out to you and provide you the care that you need and uh, the appropriate testing. State leaders and health officials pledging support after Governor Eric Holcomb confirms Indiana's first case of coronavirus. Good evening, everyone. I'm Phil Sanchez. And I'm Brooke Martin. The patient, a man in Marion County, praised for how he handled the situation. Still, the governor has declared a public health emergency. Health officials say the patient and hospital did everything possible to limit virus exposure. Doctors told us no patients and no other caregivers were exposed to the patient. State Health Commissioner Dr. Chris Bach says officials are investigating whether the patient exposed any of his family members to the coronavirus. We've also learned the state has already tested 12 people for coronavirus and is monitoring another 35. Today just serves as yet another reminder of the importance to stay informed and prepared as you carry on with your daily lives. We are told the patient is not currently in the hospital, but he is in isolation. The patient had just returned from Boston, where he was working closely with a conference. The director of the Marion County Health Department says the Centers for Disease Control will investigate the passenger manifest from the patient's flight. The state says the CDC will identify and notify people who were on the plane. Well, tonight, the first case of coronavirus has many worried they could be at risk. Health leaders have a very specific message for anyone who thinks they may have been exposed to coronavirus. News 8's Jenny Dreisler, live for us tonight outside Community North. Jenny. Uh, Phil and Brooke, I sat down one on one with the community health leaders after all of this happened. They said that what this man did was exactly what he was supposed to do. He came here, showed up and called, said he was outside. He did not panic. They said it was a textbook response. Indiana's first case of coronavirus showed up here at Community North's emergency room Thursday night, but only after calling the state health department asking what to do. The man was told to go to the hospital parking lot and wait for doctors. Health officials say the man's decision to call health officials first, warning them where he would be and exactly what parking lot was pivotal in limiting the number of people he came in contact with. Community health officials reiterated they did not take the patient through the emergency room and commended the man for not walking in by himself, adding that that sense of caution could have potentially saved lives and is exactly what you should do if you think you're showing symptoms too. If you have a fever of at least 100.4, you have a cough or you feel short of breath, and you feel as if you may have been in a, an environment where another person had COVID-19, then you should first call your doctor's office, call the hospital, call the health department, and get instructions on what you should do next. State Health Department officials agree and say they have already been flooded with calls. We're getting a, a number of calls related to our press conference today and depending on the volume over the weekend, we may establish a call center on Monday if the calls persist. Health officials got back the test results around 9 Friday morning, positive for coronavirus. That's about 10 hours after the man showed up at Community North. That's why officials urge you, because of the time frame that it takes to test, if you think you have symptoms, you need to practice self-quarantine. You will not be abandoned. We will reach out to you and provide you the care that you need and uh, the appropriate testing. Now, again, only this one case has been confirmed, but health officials have tested 12 other people. Live from Community Health North, Jenny Dreisler, Wish TV News 8. Jenny, thank you very much. Well, this announcement comes with thousands of basketball fans in town for the Big Ten Women's Basketball Tournament. Most of the people that we spoke with today aren't too concerned. Some people said they're protecting themselves against any type of disease by washing their hands and just being conscious uh, of, their, uh, of their surroundings. We, we just flew in from Newark Airport and walking around Newark Airport, everyone's got the face mask on. And it's like, it doesn't completely cover your mouth. It's, you know, you're still at risk if you want to say that. So I think just go on doing your everyday things if it happens to you it happens to you but you can't just stay home and do nothing all day and because of this fear it's 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 not as as bad as i think it's they make it seem most people did agree that it's good to at least continue good hygiene techniques and monitor the virus as it spreads to stay safe the big 10 women's tournament wraps up on sunday meanwhile a convention set to come to the indiana convention center later this month is postponing the event over virus concerns. The American Coding Show and Conference says rescheduling 
unavoidable, unavoidable rather at this point. Organizers say they're now working to reschedule the show in the same venue at a later date this year. And Salesforce has postponed the Indianapolis Fight for Air climb set for tomorrow.